Oasis is a space in Stockwell, South London, where kids can go after school in half terms. Uh, it's a safe place for them to just go and play. Um, they lent us an area within the in, in the space to, to build our sculpture. And we involved the children as much as we could in the, in the process. And um, it was a really good experience being there. It was a really good atmosphere. And I think I think being there also fed into the way the way we worked and the way the sculpture ended up. Hello, Robert. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? What's my name I don't know your name. What is your name? Yeah, well, I'm really forgetful. Is it Callum? Callum? I told you it's two figures. It's the people. Oh, it's because it's flat. But this is its nose. You'll see. It's the beginning. It's the beginning. Where's its mouth? Where's its mouth? It's kind of here. This is its chin. It's over right there. It's there. This is the uh, the figure that's down at the bottom, reaching up to the, uh, the big baby that's reaching over the top of the building. At the moment he's just sort of bare skeleton <coughs> frame work, which is going to have uh, more bits. We've got the delicate issue of the buttocks to address. I'm not sure quite how to approach that at the moment, but this can be a, a mess of wood down there, and the spine is in there. Uh, sections like everything else is in sections and uh, 
the arms were put on as fully articulated pieces so that we can get them in the final position on the building if they need to be moved in this plane or that plane. And I think the important thing with this was to get the dynamic of the pose. We spent a lot of time doing this. Trying to work out where your hips and your arms go when you're climbing up the building. You know, the twist of the hips and the thing, you know, the sort of opposing geometry of the lines of the shoulders and the hips, which I think we've nailed that pretty well. Um, I'm putting the, the bolt plate on it, so basically building the wrist, which will swivel slightly, so give us a bit of yeah. better position to be able to put it up. Right, it's on the building, so I'm just strengthening it. It's the bolt plate, this goes onto the arm. This is the hand that holds the big hand. So, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Right, big hand. <laughs> this is the head of the uh, second um, figure, the figure being pulled up. Um, and he's like that, and his head will be resting there on his shoulder, on his arms. So it'll be about here. Um, it's compared to the other figure, which is a lot, is cl which is clad with mainly with triangles. This one's um, like fragmented, so we've got these um, like 3D mazes, which are just sort of joining bits together to make the shape of the face. Um, trying not to go into too much detail, which is quite difficult. It's starting to look a bit like a robot. That's what Lee told me yesterday, anyway. Because of the nature of the building we're putting this on, uh, we built a mock-up of. So this is the this is the existing parts of the Hayward at the back. Um, because of the size of the thing, we, we've had to introduce lots of steels. Um, to support the thing, because basically we've got a tiny, tiny little area which is ridiculously small. I can't really believe that it's going to work, but it will. Um, basically, there and there is kind of our our only area to place this this whole mass. Steels that are gonna support a lot of the weight of the sculpture and hopefully stop it killing anyone. And we're just grinding back. Lee's welded all these to fit. We're just grinding off all the dirt and then we're gonna paint them. We're gonna paint them fluorescent pink, which has split the robot camp. Some people like the idea of pink steels, some people don't.
So here we are on the roof, on the real roof of the Hayward. So this is the bit that we mocked up and looks like we've got our measurements all right so far. So this is the first steel that's going in. Um, sits on the ledge like that. That's gonna support a lot of the, the top figure, the head down onto it and various other bits. It also supports um, that way um, for it falling. Um, as you can see, we've got a tiny, tiny area to work in here and here. You can't go near any of this. It's a very fragile old parts of the building. Um, it's a good view up here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's scary. <laughs>